Hello, I'm Dr. Frank Guarnido, Chief Scientist with the Institute for Digital Transformation, and welcome to the Institute Fellow Spotlight. Institute Fellows are industry experts who share their insights, opinions, research, and real life experiences about the transition from the industrial era to the digital era. Today, we shine the spotlight on John Thorpe. Welcome, John. How are you doing? I'm doing well, thank you. Uh, I think we both have a bit of snow here. We're expecting more snow, but uh, we're both good at snow jobs, so I guess we'll be okay. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> I think we are. That's, uh, if you read my dissertation, then you know what, we both know what we're talking about. Anyway, so tell us what you're doing and why should that interest our viewers? So in that, in that context, I'm currently doing three things, I guess. Working with a number of longtime colleagues, the, the Dean of Management, at, at uh, Antwerp Business School, Antwerp University actually, uh, a professor from MIT, colleague in Australia, to reframe the content of the information paradox and what's evolved since then, because a lot of thinking has progressed to, to fit it for the evolving digital world and to help organizations, societies, and individuals to better leverage the opportunities and minimize and contain the risks. The risks are becoming really quite severe. I'm developing a webinar, which I'm piloting with the Association of Project Management in the UK in March, discussing the importance of understanding the critical role that culture and mindset play in this. Ultimately, it's down to culture and mindset. Culture is the way we do things around here, and that's got to change. <laughs> culture drives mindsets, and they have to change. So I'm really focused on that bit. We know it's not easy. And the, and the leaders have, because the leaders have to take ownership of and accountability for digital transformation. It's not about technology. It's about fundamental change to their business and society and individuals that I've talked about before. So that's where I'm at. Trying to... yeah, sometimes it's, it, those are hard conversations because, uh, uh, and I've had them too. Sometimes you have to tell a parent their baby is ugly and they don't necessarily yes. hear that, right? Yes. So, uh, uh, so what attracted you to the Institute Fellows Program. I mean, we're honored to have you with all that experience and, and whatnot, but what attracted you? What makes it uh, attractive to you? Well, I think you came to me. I, I can't quite remember how it happened. It's about 10 years ago. I think either Frank or John somehow found out about me and called. And, you know, I'm, I'm always interested in getting other people's perspectives and sharing mine. I thought it was an opportunity. Mm -hmm. You may remember, but it wasn't called the Institute for Digital Transformation. Then I, I told them, I introduced the term digital. You are absolutely right. And we're going to do that on public record. We were the IT Transformation Institute. Yeah, I said, you know, this, we've got to drop IT. What I didn't realize, the IT is in the middle of digital. Did you realize that? So it's really <laughs> a bit of a problem. So it's just, we still have the same problem. It's still largely perceived as an IT issue. Yeah. It's far from that. And IT is just a yeah. cost. That's exactly the role of the Institute is really IT is not the focus of digital transformation, even though IT is in digital. So I'm, I'm sure we're, I'm sure we're making uh, some headway in, in, in that, in that area. Well, I think we are. And also not a lot of IT is moving to the cloud. Now you've got to manage the cloud and that's a challenge, but the focus now shouldn't be on the technology. It's, it's on what the technology can do and how to use that in a way that creates value for your stakeholders. Right. And your stakeholders are much more than customers these days. With the triple bottom line, you've got to look at a broad range of stakeholders. Right, right. So, and I, and, uh, so I thought also it was another opportunity to make a difference working with, working, with the, working with you guys. So, you know, between the blogs and the conversations we have and this conversation, I'm looking for any, any platform to try and move this forward. Yeah, I, I, and any platform that has the potential, and I think you're getting there, to talk to the, to the non-technical business leaders and organizational leaders who have to get this. Yeah. And, I, and help them understand, they don't have to understand the technology per se, God forbid, but they do have to understand what the technology can do and what they should be looking for and when, how it's being applied and what they should be, have, have oversight over to make sure it's going well. Yeah. And, and if they don't do that, it's not going to succeed. And they also have to understand they'd better include the victims of this at the beginning. So, I mean, the people who actually have to live with what we're doing, the, the stakeholders, the, 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 the workers, have to be involved and included from day one. That's, that's a time-honored uh, time project. And we don't do it. Yeah. We, keep, we keep stuck in the project and program battle delivering capabilities, but we don't get the ownership up here and we don't get the inclusion down here. Yeah. And that's what we've got to deal with. So I have one piece of advice. 
well, it's probably just what I just said, recognizing this is not a technology issue. It's certainly around technology and it's being driven by technology and it's actually required by technology if you're going to get value from it. Um, but it's not about technology. It's an organizational leadership issue. And at its basic point, it's about, it's challenging all aspects of the status quo. And the most important thing that has to change is culture and mindset. Cause I said, culture is the way we do things around here. And that's got to change in major ways. That's uh, and you, easily segued and answered my final question on the piece of advice. And that's very, 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 very timely. And one that we talk about all the time, and that is culture change um, in this, in this era. So to do this, digital transformation has to be done and with all the stakeholders. I've said it briefly, but I just wanted to reiterate it, not to them. If you try and do it to them, it's not going to succeed. You're going to fail. They know a lot more about this than the leaders do. They can contribute to it, and they have to be part of it. They have to buy in. And if you don't do that, it's not going to happen. You recognize this is a journey. It's a journey without end, actually. I'm not saying endless, but we don't know where this is going. It's a journey. And you're going to have to be prepared to fail. And that's tough. Yeah. We learn from failing, but if, when you fail... You've got to recognize and learn from it, pivot and move on. That's it's going to happen. And don't shoot people. They're learning. Shoot them yeah. if they fail the same yeah, why way. Would I, why would I fire someone who made that mistake? I just have to teach somebody else. You just learn. <laughs> so I, you know, I'll, now I'll keep you. And a lot of employers and I don't make the same mistake again. And don't make that same mistake yeah. again. I don't mind if you make other mistakes because you're pushing the envelope. You're trying to do the right thing. Exactly. Don't make the same mistake. Learn from it and don't make the same. And, and te- make sure other people don't make that mistake. Uh, unfortunately, John, I, we could talk about this all day, but that's really all the time we have uh, for this spotlight. So thanks for letting us shine the spotlight on you today. Uh, and uh, perhaps we could do this again. I really appreciate it. Well, thank you, Frank. It's a pleasure. Well, that's all the time we have. So join us again when we shine the spotlight on another Institute Fellow. I'm Frank Renito. See you next time on Institute Fellow Spotlight.